doing it live on Instagram. Right. We live on the IG. That's right. Let me see if I can get her on the phone here. Working on a deal. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath, 25, 72 square feet out in Lake St. Louis. Lake St. Louis. You got the uh, two car garage. She lived there for almost nine years. She added a bathroom to the lower level. So, sound like a good house. But, it's in pre-foreclosure. I don't know if she didn't mention it on the thing, but that's where she came up from. A pre-foreclosure list. What's up, what's up, what's up? It came from a pre-foreclosure list, so I'm going to see if uh, we can convert and make a deal. Something out of nothing. She wants $269.9 for it. Looks like the house is worth about maybe two ninety. Let me see here. Between two eighty, two ninety around there is what it looked like the ARV is about. So it's really not enough to make a cash offer, but she didn't tell how much she owe on the house either. This lady was tricky. She didn't really want to tell nothing to my VA, but she finna disclose to me. Because when I put it in the system here and looked it up, looked like she owes about let me pull it up real quick. She owes, according to here, 179. Looks like she owes 179. So if you'll take 180 cash, we'll make a deal. Nah, but she don't want to do that. I don't want to bust head like that. What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? So we're finna go ahead and call this lady, see if we can make a deal. We even got a special guest in the in the building. You like what they talking about? <laughs> yeah, you never know who we gonna bring in the building. Flying in from Cali. Nah. <laughs> they like who is that? All right, so. So we finna see what's going on. We got a social media. I can't give you a shout out. No, no, no. social media, gang. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you never know. So here we go. We're going to get you on social media. I'm in, I'm in connection, though. He said, as long as he on there somehow, get on there some kind of way, through somebody else's page. So that's the deal here. I text the lady, say if I can call her in the next 10 minutes. And she just sent that back about four minutes ago. So let's get her on the phone. So share this video out if you can. Hit that little share button. If you know somebody who wants to know about this real estate talk and this real estate walk. And she kind of mean too. She a sister. Let's see if we can break her down on Valentine's Day. Let me get her a box of chocolates. <laughs> Let me give her a virtual box of chocolates. There we go. So let's see here. Out here in Lake St. Louis. Beautiful house. Let's see here, Miss Shanita. Let's give Shanita a call. Come on, computer. Let's give Miss Shanita a call. Come on. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to call from here. We're going to use which phone number? We're going to use the Pretty House phone line. We have a line just for pretty houses, as you see here. See, these are all the numbers I can call from. Pick a number, bandit signs. These numbers, Craigslist numbers, deal finders, deal machine, <laughs> office lines, those are lines they cold call with, rent to online, all these numbers, student line for my students, wholesale line for wholesale deals, and other stuff. So I'm going to call her from the Pretty House line. I'm going to put that number right there. We're going to record the call for quality and training purposes. What's up, Ari Drea? So we're going to get it going here. Let's see here. See if we can make a deal out of something that was no deal. She said no, she wants all cash. But I want to see if I can break her down and see if I can get some information out of her purse. Hope this provides you some value. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Straight face. Hello? Hi, yes, uh, Shanita? Hi, ah, yes, this is Chris. You had spoke to my assistant the other day in regards to your house on Amber Willow. How are you today? Good, how are you? All is well, all is well. I didn't want to catch you too too much up on your uh, Valentine's Day here. No, you're fine. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't want to mess up the, the hot night or nothing. Oh, no, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I can't. I know that's right. Can't mess mine up either. You see, I'm working, so you know how that goes. So we are uh, definitely yes. interested in your property and everything. Seems like it's in pretty good condition. And uh, you were, uh, they said something about you put a bathroom downstairs and everything in it? Yes, it's a finished bathroom downstairs. Oh, okay. Is that a uh, walkout basement as well? No, it's not. It's a, uh, it has windows you can climb out of. Oh, okay. The emergency type? Yeah, so the, wind, the basement is finished kind of like a lot of Right, right. Okay. 
Makes sense, makes sense. So, yeah, I think they built a lot of them in that area like that, right? No, we actually had to finish the basement ourselves. Oh. We just put the roofing in and, yeah, we finished the basement ourselves. Okay, well, that's fun. So you uh, fixed it all up and everything, and... Uh, uh, something she told me something about you said you had it listed with a real estate agent. Is it still listed or is it off market now? No, it's, I took it off the market right now until the end of the month. Oh, okay. Do you do you know why it uh, didn't sell while it was on the market? I just think the realtor, it was just with the realtor, she didn't have a lot, she just made some missteps. Oh, we don't want that. We want to get it sold when we list it, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I just gave somebody a chance, and it just didn't work out. But that's what it was. It was just told. It wasn't meant to sell at the time. That's all it was. But no, it wasn't any reason. It just wasn't a lot of traffic through it. And then her marketing, she was with a small mom and pop realtor company, so it didn't get a lot of, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah, that that can mess yeah. it up. Good thing you didn't need to sell it like really yeah. quick or anything. Yeah, that was a blessing. Yeah, but it wasn't a lot of traffic, and I think the whole time it was the six months it was on the market. I think only ten people came through the house. Oh wow, only ten people! I would have thought yeah. more than that. Yeah, well, no, she she didn't have a lot of experience selling in my area, but it just wasn't meant at the time. Yeah, everything happened for a reason, right? Yeah. That's right. So you already have a place that you're going to be moving to and everything, or are you still looking? I'm still looking, but that's not going to be an issue at all. Okay. Are you all buy houses for cash? Yes, ma'am. So what we do is buy houses for cash in any condition, and that's regardless of how much you owe. Um, sometimes we buy them outright for cash. Sometimes we work out a creative deal where we can get you probably more money. It just depends. Every case is different. We just try to solve the whole problem and get you everything you want and make it a win-win situation for everybody involved. That's our whole goal. Okay. Have you, have you been able to look at the house online at all? Uh, actually, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you about. When I looked it up online, I don't know if that was, let's see, I think that was Zillow. It said something about it was a pre-foreclosure auction or something like that. You know anything about that? Yeah, I don't know why they're still on there. Yeah, I was, uh, went through, I was going to the chapter, I found a chapter 13. I'm going through a loan modification right now, but I don't know why it's reading that because it's not at all. It'll be reading that forever. <laughs> oh, wow. So they, they stopped it from going to foreclosure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's what I say. Sometimes we, we did different situations like that where we would uh, buy a house, um, you know, catch the loan up and, you know, do things like that that are creative where you would actually get a higher purchase price. And I'm just being honest with you. When we buy houses for cash, we don't really buy them for full-blown retail because that wouldn't really make sense for us. How but, much are you looking to pay if you go on Realtor.com? The inside. So what, what oh, it's on realtor.com? Let me look at it. I didn't see it on there. Let me see here. Um, you can see the inside at realtor.com, and before we go any further, like what, what you're looking to purchase it for, possibly based off of what you see on realtor.com, the, the pictures of the inside are on there. Right, right. And so the other thing, too, so when we do buy houses, we typically pay the closing costs, so there's no real estate commission. No fees to any realtors or anything like that. The price we agree to is actually the price you get. So it doesn't, you know, you doesn't have somebody chipping away at your money and stuff. You know what I mean? Right. Okay, so let me see here. Okay, I see some pictures here. Oh, wow, this is a beautiful house. It's got, uh, okay, hardwood floors in there. Is that real? I guess that's real hardwood floors. Fainting sofa. So, you know, you decorated all this. You did a really good job. Yes, I did. Oh, wow. I thought you were an interior decorator or something. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Two fainting sofas. Okay. Yeah, pretty clean, pretty nice house here. Open floor plan, so that looks good. So this, it looks just like this, huh? Pretty much perfect condition? Yeah, it looks just like, like the picture. Okay. And then also, I don't know if my assistant asked you or not, uh, would you consider taking a monthly payment for it until you were paid off in full? 
Okay, because as like I was saying before, we actually can get your higher purchase price, probably exactly what you're asking for or close to it um, with um, something like that. As far as a cash deal, I can actually determine what I can uh, what we can actually offer for that as well. If you wanted that information, you know, and it's just an offer, and you can see, you know, you can make your determination from there. Yeah, just see how much you'd be willing to offer for cash, because I'm not willing to take payment and stuff. It has to be paid in full. If I can pay the lender off in full. Okay. Because if that was the case, I would just rent the house out and. Oh, okay. You know, and I wouldn't have any problems with that. I've had people ask me about that, so I could make, I could actually make money by renting it out, but I don't want to do that. So oh. You all, okay. the only way we could even consider having a conversation is you all willing to pay cash, and then you would have to let me know how much. Yeah, that's no problem. I mean, uh, what is the lowest you think you could take as far as a cash price? Two sixty nine nine. Okay. And what do you think the house would appraise for? Right now it's priced for two hundred and eighty nine. So two eighty nine and you think you want about two sixty nine. So that's a little discount. That's my bad. Um yeah. let's see, if it's two sixty nine, um I mean I mean would you would you consider something around in the lower two hundreds? No, I would need two sixty nine now. If that's the case I can put it back on the market. Right, right. Okay. So what is the main goal? Is it just more so you just want to cash out the lender and cash out what you owe one of the things like that? Is that the main thing? Yes, and walk away with some investment money. Oh, okay. Um, so let me run a few comparables and comps on it and see what I can actually offer here. Uh, I'm going to have to check some things because I didn't get to see these pictures until just now and because uh, I need to compare it to some other houses in the area to see what they sold for and things like that. Um, let's see here. And you said you wouldn't consider anything creative and you didn't want to rent it either, right? No renting and nothing creative. It has to be paid off in full. Okay. Not a problem. So let me check what I can get you here and I'll contact you right back here shortly. And it would have to be cash or certified phone. That's right. That's the only way we buy them. Yes, ma'am. And like I said, what the price we offer you is actually the price you get. No real estate commissions, no fees, no deductions. That number is your take-home amount minus whatever you owe that lender. How much did you still owe okay. on it? Um, first, let's talk what you're willing to offer, and then we'll have a conversation. Okay. That's fine. All did right. Did you have any other questions or anything okay. for me for now? No, that's what's the name of the company? Yeah, my name is Chris with St. Louis Cash Bars. I'm going to send you a text with our company information and website on it as well. So if you need to do any research on us, you can do that as well. Uh, like I said, we uh, we buy houses all over St. Louis and even in Lake St. Louis. Okay. okay. All right. Any other questions for me? Uh, no, that's all. I hope we can work out something. I hope so, too. All righty. All right. Have a great day. I look forward to hearing from you. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Not interested. She's not that motivated. She said no. Cash only and fast only. And I already told her it's going to be in the low 200s. I already know what I can offer her cash. I can offer about 190 I mean, it do look like it's worth about $300,000 house, though. Let me make sure something. Where my calculator at? Keep your handy-dandy calculator. What did y'all think about that call? Let me know in the comments. Do you think that was something worth messing with or not really? Oh, let me let you see the house, too, by the way. This house is nice. Beautiful house. Hold on, look at this beautiful thing here. Beauty. Beauty and the Beast. Look at that big old fancy yard. Big old nice yard. Everything look nice on it. Everything good. She know what she doing. Got it staged out, decked out, washer dryer hooked up, big old washer, big old dryer, big old open living room. What is this? Is that in the lower level? That must be the lower level with that uh, wood above it. And a purple living room set. Yep, that's how she looks. Beautiful house. Beauty with a pink dresser. Who has pink dressers? Who does this stuff? Who designed this house? Who designed this layout? She spent some big money on it. She said she was in pre-foreclosure. Now she's doing a loan modification. Let me take over that loan modification, man. Stop playing. Because <laughs> it's going to be a lower payment probably. Who knows? Uh, yeah, looks good. So that's how the house look. 
I'm going to text her back in a second and say, what is the best email address for you? And I'm still going to send her the multiple offer strategy. I don't care what she's talking about. You're going to take this three offers because when I tell her two sixty nine nine on terms, she's going to say, oh, I'll take that. Or you could take this one ninety seven cash. So we'll see how that goes. Seems like she's in a hurry to be done with it like yesterday. Yeah, she's been on the MLS for about six months. That's a long time, ain't it? I mean... And I asked her why they see when that, that's a question I always ask people when they've been on the MLS and it's an expired listing because we talk to a lot of people with expired listings. So I always ask, why do you think the house didn't sell when it was on the MLS? There's a reason, but she blamed it all on a real estate agent. But I ain't buying it. Six months on the MLS, somebody lying. And the house looked like this. Hold on, let me let you see this house. You ain't see it yet. Let me put you over here. Hold on, I'm put it on this screen. She's gonna break. Son. This mug is bad. A bad boy. Yeah, she gonna break. She already at the breaking point. You can tell how she's talking. It's a bad boy. Woo! Clean. Find something wrong with it. You can eat off that floor. That floor is so nice. Stay down, stay. Gorgeous house. Let me go back down. Let's see how serious this is. She's really not that motivated. If she listed again and it doesn't sell, then she'll be a little more motivated. Yeah, right. Something is up. Exactly. Something fishy going on here. But she spent a lot of money. I mean, just how they decked this house out. This is out on Lake St. Louis. Nelly got a house out there. So that should tell you something. That's out where the rich folks stay. This ain't no lightweight house. And, I, and it seemed like it's a good deal. Why didn't it sell on the MLS for $269? I don't know. Or $250. But according to my system here, it says she owe about $179. So I could offer a little bit more than that. But she like, she want money to real est go invest in real estate with. Lady, you in Chapter 13. Why you playing? Matter of fact, it don't even tell that on here. It say there's a lien on the house, though. It says it's in pre-foreclosure. There's a lien on the house. It's been on the MLS. It expired. She took it off the MLS because that real estate agent was not that good, supposedly. This beautiful house. There's no reason this house didn't get sold. You know what I meant to ask her, though? Did you get any offers on it? Did you get any offers on that house? So you got to ask the right questions when you're talking to these people. Because they'll tell you everything most of the time. But you see how she was dodging and ducking. How much you still owe on it? Oh, well, we'll talk about that. You owe 180 lady. I can see. Maybe more because you probably got fees, and if you got behind on a loan, they probably charge you some stuff, plus, uh, you know, your real estate fees. Maybe need to go Ghostbusters in there first. Yeah, I, I asked her what she'd consider around the low 200s. I mean, that was just a soft offer. See, that's soft. And I already know that if it's a cash deal, it got to be around there. I do about two. 190 to two at the highest. That's too high because I can't sell it to somebody else at that point. I got to leave some meat on the bone. So pulling up the math here. I think the house worth about what I say about 180 times 0.7. That's 126 by itself. Is that the right numbers? Oh, I'm on the wrong numbers. Hold on. 280. I'm tripping. The house is 280 times 0.7. That's counting no repairs. That's 196 by itself. That's a 30% discount, 196. But like I said, this is a nice area in a great neighborhood, good school district. So we're going to do that differently. So we're going to go 280 times 0.8 for a 20% discount. 20% discount is 224. So I'm thinking a cash buyer could typically pay about 224 for this if they want a 20% discount, which means I need to get it lower than 224. So I need to get it for around 200, maybe 210, pushing it. When you get up around 210, you're too high. I mean, you're really at the highest you want to go. And that's saying that the house is in perfect condition like she said it is, which it looks like it is. And, you know, when you start dealing with cash buyers in that price range, that's a whole other set of buyers. That's not the, every run-of-the-mill $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 buyers. $200,000 and up, you're dealing with a different criteria, people who buy big money houses. And what can they do to this house to make it more valuable? I don't know. You know, that's the other thing, too, though. Where do you see the value add? There's no value add on a perfect house. It's just selling it on a discount. So I would offer her maybe 200 and that's still too high. I said originally 190 which is where I would rather be. 190 to 200 and that's pushing it. If I get up to around 210 that's like the maximum I can go. Because like I said, selling it at a 20% discount, that's 224 And who going to buy it for 224 if it's worth 280 Somebody would. But I don't know if she got that offer already. Like I said, I meant to ask her this. As a matter of fact, let me send her a text real quick. 
Hope this video will help you out any bit. If it is, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. Share it out to somebody who need to see the replay or something. Send it to them straight in their inbox. Send it to them some kind of way. Tag somebody. Tag a friend. Phone a friend. Tell your mama. Tell your cousin. Tell your daddy. Tell your uncle. Tell somebody that you are here live with the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. So let me send her a message real quick. Where'd she go here? Miss Shanita. What is the best email address for you? I'm going to send her a written email offer. And, uh, oh, I didn't send her the information either about the company. One moment. Our company is... Am I spelling that right? Learn more at http all right looks good so I sent her the website so she can do her own research so she can say oh well y'all really about that life or y'all just jokers I ain't joking man it's on your shirt man matter of fact it's on your coffee cup man it's serious out here matter of fact Get your, get your notepad out, man. It's serious out here. Taking copious notes. <laughs> Add her to the board. Bloop. Add her to the board. So what do you think about that call? I think that was a good call. I think she's motivated in about six. She got, she got a little time. I think she, gonna, she needs to try again, and then she's going to be real motivated. There she's going to have to break even. She's going to have to break even. I'll give her a little something. I mean, I want to get her as much as possible. But, uh, you know, we love the front row seat. That's right. That's right. Miss Sunshine, good to see you. So she sent her email address back. So now I'm just going to formulate a multiple offer. Even though she said she don't want it, I'm going to send her that cash offer, send her that terms offer, send her that lease option offer, and uh, see what she wants to do from there. Other than that, any more questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook and YouTube. All that and more at Chris Monroe STL. You love the front row seat. That's right. Put your seatbelt on. Rolling with the row. <laughs> so if you're looking for contracts, cool gear, or coaching, make sure you check out WokeRealEstate.com. WokeRealEstate.com. Everything you need to get deals to know how to talk to sellers, know how to write up the deals, all that stuff. Get the coaching to get your hand held through the deal. Everything you need to know from the Ruta to the Tuta, WokeRealEstate.com. All right, with all that being said, do what you do. Be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me. Peace out. Yeah. <laughs> Silly.